I recently asked thousands of teachers what they want to go away in education at the start of this next decade. And here's what the majority of people said. Let's see if you can relate. I mean, I get why they exist. We have to be able to demonstrate that our students are growing and learning, and multiple choice tests that assess a specific set of knowledge might be the easiest way of doing that. But is it the most effective? Are standardized tests that cause teachers and students to devote countless hours of the school year to, that are mostly created by multi-billion dollar private corporations, that only measure a specific portion of a student's intelligence, really the best way to determine our student's future? Are they really the best indicator for college success? Are they really helping prepare students for the evolving 21st century workforce? Should we really be using them as the primary measure of a teacher's effectiveness? Well, according to many, many teachers I asked, but also high school dropout rates, college attrition rates, and the global education rankings, the answer is no. I mean, maybe we shouldn't ditch them completely, but maybe it's time to de-emphasize high stakes testing a bit. So many teachers are chained to a one-size-fits-all, scripted box curriculum. They are told to stick to the script. Do not deviate from it. Don't add or take away from it because the curriculum has been determined to be the best for your students. Well, teachers are tired of this. They are college educated, often master's degree holding professionals who have the knowledge and creativity to craft learning experiences that are best for their specific students. Curriculum ideas and outlines are great. I don't think teachers are calling for those to go away, but we do want flexibility. We know our students better than some curriculum company and we need the space to teach them appropriately. Otherwise, you might as well just hire a bunch of robots but we all know that a robot could never replace a great teacher. Teachers are sick of having classroom technology for the sake of having shiny new classroom technology. I mean, listen, technology is great and it opens the door for some really dynamic learning experiences, but that is not an excuse to force it into classrooms without a good reason to. So many teachers are forced to learn new technology, whether it's a learning management system, a grading app, an interactive whiteboard, only to have it scrapped two years later because of a change in administration or for some other reason. This is counterproductive and wasteful. It wastes time and money, something none of us have enough of. Let's not ban tech from the classroom, especially when it serves our students and deepens their learning. But if it doesn't do that, or after a learning curve doesn't make life easier for teachers, then I'm not sure why it should be in the classroom. Listen, teachers are not infallible. We make mistakes, have misunderstandings, and commit errors. We are not perfect but neither are our students. So many teachers are burned out from the helicopter lawnmower parenting. We are tired of being second guessed and not supported and accused of having it out for certain students. I mean, it's exhausting and takes time and energy away from the classroom and those parents' students. This isn't to say that parents shouldn't show concern for their kids or have contact with their teachers. But what if in 2020 these contacts were instead conversations, ongoing dialogue where teachers and parents partner up for kids? Let's leave accusations at the door and instead have discussions. Because here's the truth. The vast majority of teachers went into this profession because they care about kids. I mean, there may be some outliers, but most teachers, and I mean most, want what's best for their students. We are not in this for the acclaim or the status and certainly not the paycheck. We are in this to see our students succeed. And if every parent could understand that, think of what we could accomplish together. So when you hear all of these, it's not difficult to find a common theme. From high stakes testing that only measures a small part of a teacher's effectiveness, curriculum that is stripped of creativity, technology that is often without purpose, to the need for parent support. When I ask thousands of teachers what they want to see in the next decade, it's clear that what they want is trust and support. So if you are an educator, may you be trusted this next decade and then flourish because of it. And if you are not an educator, may you trust the teachers in your community. Oh, and teachers also want better pay, fair benefits, and more respect from politicians, but that's a different video. Happy New Year.